Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, heads of delegation and all protocols observed. Mr. Chairman, let me first convey my warm greetings from the government and the great people of the Republic of Malawi. As we are taking the floor for the first time, let me also congratulate you, Mr. Chairperson, on your appointment as chairperson of this plenipotentiary conference and be assured that you have our support as you discharge your duties. Congratulations to Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin for being elected as the next General Secretary of the course of our dear brother, and of course, our dear brother Thomas Lomnaskas for being elected the Deputy Secretary General for the ITU. I wish both of you a very successful term. Malawi, with a GDP of 625 US dollars per capita, is probably one of the least developed countries in the world. But our strong belief in the power of digital transformation and digital economy gives us hope, and it is an answer to uplifting the livelihoods of our people in a connected world whilst bringing the current digital divide that COVID-19 pandemic has further widened. The 625 US dollar per capita does not put us down because we know that when you are down, the next option is to go up. The theme of this conference, Connect and Unite, is a reminder that despite our differences in the levels of development, the internet is a global network for which we all have a shared responsibility and where we stand as strong as our weakest link. Uniting and working together for the good of all nations is not an option, it is a must. Malawi is determined not to be left behind in this digital age. We are here to be counted and to be a formidable partner in the current fourth industrial revolution. Malawi's digital transformation journey has been well defined in our Agenda 2063 plan, which aligns with Africa Union 2063, as well as SADIC 2027 digital transformation strategies. As a landlocked country, Malawi is spearheading the formation of diplomatic data corridors with its neighboring countries in a bid to reduce the cost of data from 35 US dollars per MB towards the preferred five US dollar per MB price point and increase internet penetration from 18% to 60% within the next four years. The diplomatic data corridors will enable Malawi and other landlocked countries to have affordable and meaningful connectivity. Malawi seeks to improve its broadband coverage from the current 38% to 75% in 24 months through deliberate efforts that empower local participation through the licensing of over 30 community broadband operators, which will be largely operated by the youth. Speaking of the youth, we are rolling out a targeted innovation and a research fund in partnership with the private sector to the tune of 350,000 US dollars per year. And this also will see the establishment of the purpose built city innovation city, which will be uh, a space for the youth to interrogate their uh, understanding and the deepening uh, their dreams in digital matters. Digital interest is uh, a risk that we have identified at the early stage. In our digital transformation agenda, to this effect, we are currently reviewing the primary and secondary school syllabus to fully embrace digital elements so that our children our young people should be taught digital issues at a very tender age. We are not competing 
Malawi is not competing for any position in this conference, but be rest assured that in the next four years, in four years' time, Malawi shall be a formidable candidate for a seat at the ITU table. We are so determined. Thank you very much for your attention.